Did you know that the path to true freedom and fulfillment begins with mastering yourself? In a world overflowing with distractions and external pressures, many of us find ourselves feeling lost or overwhelmed. If you want to reclaim your power and navigate life's challenges with confidence, you need to embrace the principles of self-mastery, the dichotomy of control, and the timeless values of a true gentleman. In this video, we'll explore key concepts that not only define manhood, but also empower you to build a meaningful legacy. From cultivating a warrior's mindset to living authentically according to your values, we'll uncover the transformative journey of personal growth. So, if you're ready to discover the secrets to resilience, respect and reflection, keep watching. Your journey toward a life of purpose and integrity starts now. 1. The Hero's Journey – Defining Manhood Imagine a young boy standing at the edge of a playground, watching his friends soar on swings, laughing and carefree. The sun is shining brightly, casting a golden hue over their joyful faces. As he observes, a smile spreads across his face, filled with dreams and aspirations of adventure. This is the moment every boy longs for, the thrill of childhood, where imagination knows no bounds. But as time passes, those carefree days evolve into a quest for identity and purpose. The laughter begins to fade, and the laughter turns into whispers of uncertainty. As we transition into adulthood, the question of what it means to be a man starts to loom large. Society bombards us with expectations be strong, be successful, be the provider. Yet, within this whirlwind of expectations, we often forget the essence of manhood. True manhood isn't just about meeting these societal benchmarks, it's about embarking on your own hero's journey. It's about recognizing that every challenge faced, every hardship endured, shapes our character. This journey can be daunting and filled with obstacles, but it's also a path paved with opportunities for growth. Think about your own life. When was the last time you felt like you were stepping into the unknown, ready to face your fears? That moment of courage is the first step toward defining who you are as a man. As we delve deeper into this concept, let's take a moment to reflect on the nostalgia of our own hero's journeys. Think back to a time when you faced a challenge that seemed insurmountable. Perhaps it was asking someone out for the first time, standing up to a bully, or even pursuing a new career path. These memories, while sometimes tinged with fear and uncertainty, are also filled with moments of triumph. They remind us of the strength that resides within us, waiting to be unleashed. This journey of self-discovery and growth is universal transcending age and background. Whether you're 18 or 65, we all have stories that shape who we are and what we aspire to become. But now, curiosity beckons. What does it mean to truly forge your identity as a man? What lessons can we draw from those who walked this path before us? The answer lies not only in our personal experiences, but also in the wisdom of those who have come before us. Let's explore how the struggles and triumphs of historical figures can illuminate our own journeys, guiding us toward a deeper understanding of manhood. 2. Forged in Adversity – Building Character Picture this a blacksmith in a dimly lit workshop, hammering away at a glowing piece of metal. Each strike of the hammer sends sparks flying, a testament to the intensity of the heat and pressure shaping the metal into something strong and resilient. This image serves as a powerful metaphor for the process of forging our character through adversity. Life, much like the blacksmith's workshop, can be a tumultuous and challenging experience. It is easy to feel defeated when we encounter obstacles. However, it is within these moments of struggle that our true character is revealed. As you reflect on your own life, think about the challenges you've faced, those moments when everything seemed to be going wrong, whether it was a job loss, a relationship ending, 
or personal setbacks. These instances can feel overwhelming, yet they are not merely burdens, they are opportunities for growth. The wisdom of Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius teaches us that while we cannot control external events, we have complete control over our responses. So, when faced with adversity, do we crumble like a house of cards or stand firm like a mountain? This is a crucial turning point in our journeys, one that requires us to dig deep and find our inner strength. Allow yourself to feel the nostalgia of overcoming past struggles. Recall that moment when you faced your fears head on. Maybe it was that time you had to deliver a speech in front of a crowd, or when you decided to stand up for a friend in need. These experiences shape us and contribute to our resilience, reminding us that every scar we carry tells a story of perseverance. They connect us to our shared humanity, revealing that we are not alone in our struggles. People of all ages and backgrounds can relate to the feelings of doubt and fear, as well as the triumphs that come from facing challenges. This journey through adversity sparks curiosity about the nature of strength itself. What does it truly mean to be resilient? Is it simply about enduring hardships, or is there something deeper at play? As we uncover the core virtues that define true manhood, we'll find that resilience goes hand in hand with other qualities like courage and integrity. Together, these virtues create a robust framework for navigating life's challenges, urging us to embrace adversity not just as something to endure, but as an essential part of our growth. 3. The Pillars of Manhood Let's take a moment to visualize a grand temple, standing tall and proud, with four unshakable pillars supporting its structure. This temple represents the essence of manhood, built upon the foundations of courage, integrity, resilience and compassion. Just as a temple would crumble without its pillars, our character falters when any of these virtues are neglected. Picture each pillar as a vital component of your identity. When you think about the men you admire, what qualities do they possess? It's likely that they embody these very principles, demonstrating that true strength comes from within. As you dive deeper into each pillar, feel the sense of nostalgia wash over you. Recall moments when you exhibited courage, perhaps standing up for a friend or taking a risk that felt daunting at the time. These memories are treasures, reminders of your ability to confront fear and emerge stronger. Think about integrity. How often have you faced a decision where doing the right thing was challenging? Remember the satisfaction that came with staying true to your values, even when it would have been easier to walk away. These experiences aren't just memories, they are the building blocks of your character. Now let's stir curiosity about how we can cultivate these pillars in our daily lives. How do we ensure that courage is not just a fleeting moment, but a lifelong commitment? How can we practice integrity, especially when faced with temptation? The answers lie in intentional actions. For example, courage isn't the absence of fear, it's about acting despite it. It's about having the will to face life head on, no matter the circumstances. Integrity is about aligning your actions with your values, fostering trust with yourself and others. Resilience teaches us that setbacks are not the end, but rather stepping stones toward our goals. And compassion. It's the reminder that strength isn't about being tough, it's about understanding and supporting others. As we navigate these pillars, Consider how they resonate with your own life. How do they play a role in your interactions, your decisions, and your aspirations? By reflecting on these virtues, you not only deepen your understanding of manhood, but also enhance your journey toward becoming the best version of yourself. This exploration invites you to embrace the idea that manhood is not a destination, but a continuous path of growth built on the foundations of courage, integrity, resilience, and compassion. 4. 
Self-mastery, the key to true freedom. Imagine standing on the edge of a vast, serene lake. The water is still, reflecting the sky above like a mirror, perfectly calm. This image embodies the concept of self-mastery, the ability to navigate your inner world with the same grace and poise as the lake mirrors its surroundings. In our fast-paced lives, where distractions are abundant and emotions often run high, the pursuit of self-mastery can feel elusive. Yet, true freedom lies not in the absence of obstacles, but in our capacity to control our responses to them. As you contemplate the importance of self-mastery, feel the nostalgia for moments in your life when you manage to overcome impulsive reactions. Perhaps there was a time when anger bubbled to the surface during a heated conversation, but you chose to take a deep breath and respond with calm instead. That choice, while small, was a defining moment that reflected your ability to harness your emotions and turn them into constructive action. It's in these instances that we discover the transformative power of self-mastery, how it allows us to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. Now, let's shift gears and stir your curiosity. What does it mean to master oneself? It's more than just controlling your emotions. It's about developing a deep understanding of your desires, fears, and motivations. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus famously said, no man is free who is not master of himself. This statement challenges us to consider the areas in our lives where we might feel trapped not by external circumstances, but by our own inability to govern our thoughts and actions. Imagine two circles, one representing the things we can control, our thoughts, our actions, our responses, and the other representing everything outside our control, other people's actions, the weather, and even past events. Self-mastery is the art of focusing on that inner circle, letting go of the weight of external concerns that can drain our energy and peace of mind. As you reflect on this dichotomy, consider how often you've found yourself fretting over matters outside your control. How much time and energy have you wasted on frustrations that only serve to hinder your growth? To cultivate self-mastery, begin with mindfulness. Take a moment each day to pause and observe your thoughts without judgment. This practice helps you become aware of your internal dialogues and emotional responses, enabling you to make conscious choices rather than being swept away by the currents of impulse. The journey of self-mastery is ongoing, requiring dedication and self-reflection. Embrace the challenge of developing this skill, knowing that with each step you take, you inch closer to the true freedom of self-governance. 5. The Dichotomy of Control Now, let's delve deeper into the concept of the dichotomy of control. Picture yourself standing at a crossroads, with one path leading to worry and anxiety about things you cannot change, and the other leading to empowerment and clarity by focusing on what you can control. This metaphor speaks volumes about our daily struggles and choices. The essence of the dichotomy of control is about recognizing the distinction between what lies within our grasp and what remains beyond it. This understanding can free us from the shackles of stress and frustration that often accompany life's unpredictability. As you navigate your personal experiences, Think back to those moments when you found yourself preoccupied with external circumstances. Perhaps it was worrying about a job interview or fretting over someone else's opinions. How did that affect your mindset? Did it empower you or weigh you down? When we focus on what we cannot control, we surrender our power, allowing fear and doubt to take root. This realization can be both humbling and liberating, prompting us to redirect our energy toward the inner circle, our thoughts, choices, and responses. In moments of adversity, this practice becomes even more crucial. Imagine facing a challenging situation at work or in a relationship. 
You can't control how others behave or what challenges arise, but you have complete authority over your reaction. Consider the peace that comes from accepting this reality. By focusing your efforts on what you can influence, you begin to cultivate a sense of agency in your life. Curiosity may arise, how can we apply this principle more effectively in our lives? Start by identifying specific areas where you expend unnecessary energy worrying about external factors. Challenge yourself to shift that energy into constructive action within your control. For instance, instead of obsessing over a potential outcome, concentrate on preparing for it, enhancing your skills or seeking support from trusted friends. This proactive approach not only fosters resilience, but also cultivates a more positive outlook on life. 6. Cultivating the Warrior's Mind Transitioning into the realm of the warrior's mind, picture a fierce warrior standing tall on the battlefield, not with sword raised, but with an unwavering focus in his eyes. The true strength of a warrior lies not in physical prowess, but in mental fortitude. The ability to face challenges head-on with determination and resilience. In today's world, the battlefield may look different, but the spirit of the warrior remains the same. Each of us faces battles daily, whether in our careers, relationships or inner struggles. Cultivating the warrior's mind means developing the mental toughness necessary to thrive in these arenas. As you reflect on your own life, think about times when you've had to muster inner strength to push through adversity. Perhaps it was a difficult period in your career where doubts crept in or a personal loss that shook your foundation. These experiences serve as crucibles for growth, testing your resolve and shaping your character. Remember that warrior spirit within you, the one that refuses to back down, even when the odds seem stacked against you. It's this resilience that defines you, reminding you that you are capable of overcoming even the most daunting challenges. Now, let's stir your curiosity about how to develop this mental toughness further. What practices can you adopt to cultivate the warrior's mind? Begin by embracing discomfort. Growth often occurs outside your comfort zone, so challenge yourself to take small steps that stretch your limits. This might mean trying something new, pushing yourself physically, or confronting a fear that has held you back. Each time you embrace discomfort, you strengthen your mental resilience, preparing yourself for whatever life throws your way. Visualizing success is another powerful tool in the warrior's arsenal. Before facing a challenge, take a moment to close your eyes and vividly imagine yourself succeeding. This mental rehearsal can boost your confidence and prime your mind for the task ahead. Athletes and top performers across various fields use this technique to enhance their performance. Remember, your mind cannot always distinguish between vivid visualization and reality. Harness this to your advantage. Additionally, consider the concept of reframing challenges. Instead of viewing obstacles as barriers, see them as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. When you encounter setbacks, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? How can I use this experience to become stronger? This shift in perspective empowers you to view difficulties as stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks, reinforcing the idea that you possess the mental strength to face adversity head on. As you cultivate the warrior's mind, acknowledge the inner battles you fight daily. Embrace the notion that true strength is not the absence of fear, but the willingness to confront it. Each challenge you face is an opportunity to prove your mettle and grow as an individual, forging a path of resilience and determination. 7. The Gentleman's Code Now, let's explore the concept of the Gentleman's Code. Picture a man who embodies grace, strength and respect. This image transcends the notion of traditional masculinity, reminding us that true manhood involves navigating the world with dignity and integrity. 
In a time when the definition of being a gentleman may seem outdated, it is more crucial than ever to embrace this code as a guiding principle in our interactions. As you reflect on what it means to be a gentleman, consider the feelings of nostalgia that arise. Think about the men in your life who exemplified these qualities, perhaps a father, grandfather or mentor. Their actions, whether through small gestures of kindness or steadfast principles, shaped your understanding of respect and honor. These memories serve as a foundation upon which we can build our own conduct, reminding us that being a gentleman is not merely about appearances, but about how we treat others. At the core of the gentleman's code is respect for yourself and for others. Confucius wisely said, respect yourself and others will respect you. This principle, though simple, forms the foundation of all positive relationships. Consider how you demonstrate respect in your daily interactions. It's in the small acts holding the door for someone, actively listening during conversations, or keeping your word. These gestures are not signs of weakness, they are displays of strength and self-assurance. Now let's stir curiosity about the practical applications of the gentleman's code. How can we navigate the complexities of modern life while upholding these timeless values? First, honor is crucial. When faced with tough decisions, ask yourself, is this honorable? Would I be proud to have my actions known? Honor serves as a compass for decision-making, guiding us toward choices that reflect our values. Think about historical figures like Cincinnatus, who voluntarily relinquished power for the greater good. This commitment to honor inspires us to act with integrity even when it's challenging. Being a gentleman doesn't mean being a pushover, it's about balancing assertiveness with respect. When you stand up for what's right, do so with dignity. Use your voice to advocate for those who may not have one, whether in personal situations or broader societal issues. True strength lies in uplifting others while maintaining your values. As you incorporate the gentleman's code into your life, recognize that it is a lifelong journey. Embrace the principles of respect, honor and kindness as essential elements of your character. By doing so, you not only elevate yourself, but also contribute to a more compassionate world, one interaction at a time. Eight. Building a legacy. Now, let's shift our focus to the concept of legacy. Imagine standing on the shore, watching the waves gently lap against the sand, each wave representing the impact you've made in your life. What will your waves look like? The choices we make today ripple through time, shaping not only our lives, but the lives of others. As you contemplate your legacy, it's essential to recognize that it is not merely defined by material success or accolades. It's about the values we impart, the lives we touch, and the impact we create. As you reflect on your own life, think back to those who have influenced you profoundly. Perhaps it was a teacher who believed in you, a friend who stood by you during tough times, or a family member whose wisdom resonated with you. Their legacies continue to inspire you urging you to consider what you want to leave behind for future generations. This journey into the heart of legacy evokes a sense of nostalgia, reminding us of the interconnectedness of our experiences. Curiosity arises as we ponder how can we build a legacy that resonates with our values. Start by identifying what truly matters to you. What principles do you want to embody? What do you want to be remembered for? Reflecting on these questions allows you to align your actions with your aspirations, paving the way for a meaningful legacy. Consider the concept of contribution. Legacy isn't solely about personal achievements, it's about uplifting others and creating a positive impact. Whether through mentorship, community service, or simply being present for loved ones, the contributions we make shape our legacy. Think about the small acts of kindness that may seem insignificant but can profoundly affect others. 
A simple gesture, like offering support during challenging times, can create ripples of change that extend far beyond our immediate sphere. Another important aspect of building a legacy is storytelling. Every life is a collection of stories, experiences that shape us and connect us to others. Embrace the power of storytelling to share your journey, lessons learned and values. Consider how your narrative can inspire others, encouraging them to pursue their paths with courage and conviction. Your story is a powerful tool for creating connection and fostering understanding, transcending generations. Ultimately, your legacy is a reflection of who you are and what you stand for. As you navigate life, embrace the idea that every choice you make contributes to the story you leave behind. By living intentionally and embodying your values, you create a lasting impact that will resonate for years to come. 9. Living Your Values Now, let's turn our attention to the practice of living your values. Picture yourself standing firmly in your convictions like a tree with deep roots, unyielding in the face of storms. Living your values means aligning your actions with your beliefs, creating a sense of authenticity that resonates with those around you. In a world filled with external pressures and conflicting messages, staying true to your values can be both a challenge and a source of profound fulfillment. As you reflect on your own values, think about moments when you felt truly aligned with your beliefs. Perhaps it was a time when you stood up for something you believed in, or when you made a difficult decision based on your principles. These experiences can evoke a sense of nostalgia, reminding you of the strength and conviction that resides within you. They serve as markers of your character, guiding you in times of uncertainty. Curiosity arises as you consider how to cultivate a life rooted in your values. Start by identifying what matters most to you. Is it honesty, compassion, adventure or growth? Write down your core values and reflect on how they manifest in your daily life. When faced with choices, ask yourself, does this align with my values? Am I living authentically? This practice creates awareness, prompting you to make decisions that resonate with your true self. Living your values also means embracing vulnerability. It's about being honest with yourself and others, acknowledging when you're not living up to your ideals. This transparency fosters connection and authenticity, allowing you to build trust in your relationships. Vulnerability doesn't equate to weakness, rather. It demonstrates strength and resilience, showcasing your commitment to growth. In the face of challenges, living your values can serve as an anchor. When uncertainty looms or external pressures mount, returning to your core values provides clarity and direction. Think about how your values can guide your responses to difficult situations. They serve as a compass, reminding you of who you are and what you stand for, even amidst chaos. Ultimately, living your values is a journey, not a destination. It requires ongoing self-reflection, commitment and a willingness to adapt. Embrace the idea that you are a work in progress continually evolving as you navigate the complexities of life. By prioritizing your values, you create a life of authenticity and purpose, inspiring others to do the same. 10. Reflecting on growth. Finally, let's explore the significance of reflecting on growth. Picture yourself at the end of a long journey, looking back at the path you've traveled. Each step taken, every challenge faced, has shaped you into the person you are today. Reflection is a powerful tool that allows us to gain insights from our experiences, fostering a deeper understanding of ourselves and our journeys. In a world that often emphasizes forward momentum, taking the time to pause and reflect can feel like a rare luxury. Yet it is within these moments of contemplation that we uncover the true essence of our growth. As you consider your own growth, think back to pivotal moments in your life, times when you faced challenges, 
made choices, or experienced transformations. How did these moments shape your character? What lessons did you learn along the way? Nostalgia can wash over you as you recall the highs and lows, the triumphs and setbacks that have contributed to your unique journey. These reflections not only remind you of how far you've come, but also illuminate the wisdom gained through experience. Curiosity may arise as you ponder the most effective ways to reflect on your growth. One powerful practice is journaling. By putting pen to paper, you create a space for introspection, allowing your thoughts and feelings to flow freely. Write about your experiences, the challenges you've faced, and the lessons you've learned. This practice fosters self-awareness and clarity, helping you connect the dots in your journey. Another effective method is seeking feedback from trusted friends or mentors. Sometimes an outside perspective can shed light on aspects of your growth that you may overlook. Engage in open conversations about your experiences and be receptive to constructive criticism. This feedback can serve as a valuable catalyst for further growth and development. Additionally, consider setting aside regular time for reflection. Whether it's a weekly ritual or a monthly review, carving out moments to assess your journey allows you to pause, breathe and evaluate your progress. Ask yourself questions like, what have I learned this month? How have I changed? This practice not only fosters gratitude for your experiences, but also keeps you aligned with your goals and aspirations. Ultimately, reflecting on growth is about embracing the journey with all its twists and turns. Acknowledge that growth is not always linear. It often comes with setbacks and challenges. Embrace the idea that every experience, whether positive or negative, contributes to your evolution as an individual. By reflecting on your growth, you cultivate a deeper appreciation for your journey, empowering yourself to continue moving forward with intention and purpose. As we wrap up this journey into self-mastery, legacy and living your values, I encourage you to take these insights to heart. Remember, the path to becoming your best self is paved with intention, reflection and a commitment to growth. If you've resonated with the ideas we've discussed today, drop a comment below. Let us know you're part of the 0.01% who are ready to take action and finish what they start. Just type 100 to show your commitment. If you're serious about transforming your life and embodying the principles we've explored, make sure to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Together, we can navigate this journey support one another, and continue striving toward a life filled with purpose and integrity. Thank you for watching, and remember, your journey doesn't end here, it's just the beginning.